what is up everyone welcome back again um, so I'm doing a little bit of work on my car um, I've been I'm gonna clean the throttle body this is really, it's really nasty in there there's a bunch of oil in there uh, so I'm gonna clean the throttle body and then um, I'm going to change all the pulleys to plastic. Um, I know it's not it's not a lot, but everything everything helps, uh, especially on these cars. We are so limited in mods. Um, so, and that's actually a good idea too. Before I change my current pulley, uh, I'm going to be doing that sometime this year. Maybe at the end of this year. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna change this pulley. It's gonna be plastic, and then this other one, I'm gonna leave for now, because I'm gonna order a um, one from a GT500. It's made out of billet aluminum, and um, so this is the only one that I'm gonna leave. Uh, the tensioner, I already got the plastic. The plastic one. So, so I'm just gonna change this one. Um, I was gonna change this one to plastic, but they didn't. They didn't have one at the auto parts store. So, um, if I'm gonna order one, I'll just get one out of aluminum, billet aluminum, and they look really nice too. Um, so yeah uh, let me show you the pulley that I'm going to be using it's actually over here oh, it's in my decor okay alright so this is the pulley that I got It's uh got this one for, from from uh, AutoZone. This is pin number twenty three ten ninety four. I do have a different setup than all the five point the five point um, I rerouted my belt and then the tensioner. I did a lot of modification to the tensioner. Um, so that changes the the. Uh, belt size and the pulley sizes uh, I don't know if it's gonna work for the stock 5.0s but on mine instead of the belt going around this uh, this pulley it actually goes under so it grabs the supercharger pulley a lot better let me show you guys how it looks like with the belt uh, once I put it on once I put it on the car you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about so it's kind of like, hold on. it's kind of like this, it sits like this, kind of like this, you guys will see once I get this thing installed, and um, all I gotta do is change this belt, this uh, pulley, and then after that, I'm gonna order the this one right here. This is the pulley that I got. It's basically the same same size. Okay, so I I rerouted my belt a couple a couple months ago, uh, or actually a couple weeks ago, because I was noticing some belt slip. You can see all the 
the um, dust right there from the belt. Let me see how they get a flashlight. Okay, so that right there, it's all belt. You can see my fingers clean. Yeah, so that's the reason why I did it. Um, All right, so I went ahead and removed the tensioner to show you guys what I did um, to be able to reroute the belt. So there's two little, there was two little nipples right here. I had to cut these off. They went right here. So I went ahead and cut these off to reposition this tensioner. And um it doesn't it doesn't really need those. All you need is this this um bolt and just tighten up the bolt really good and it won't move anywhere. So yeah. Um right now it all depends on your belt size and your pulley sizes my tensioner sits about about right there with the belt put on before it was kind of uh, right in here like this so now it sits like this yeah so just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing to the car um, so let me remove this, this pulley right here, and then I'll show you what to do next. I think it's a 14 millimeter. So here I got the pulley. This is the old one, and this is the new one. You can see it. it it's a lot lighter, this one. And if I spin both of them, this one stop. This one stops right away. This one spins a lot more. Just a lot lighter. So I know you might be asking, um, why am I changing my pulleys from metal to the cheaper plastic ones so um, whenever if you guys remember I had this car on my YouTube channel on my previous video and I I went ahead and um, deleted the AC and I, I deleted everything all the pulleys ex except for the uh, water pump and it, it made a big difference my zero to 60, it was, I felt it was a lot faster um, just by doing that. So, I know it's not gonna make a big difference on this big car, but at least it's, it's something. Um, it's always something. Every, every little thing adds up and um, Once we get the crank pulley, then that's gonna be a big, big change. But for now, it's uh, it's not that expensive. You can get those pulleys for twenty bucks on on AutoZone or Riley's. So um, not that bad. Um, this is the bolt that's holding the pulley. It's right here. Um, You can use, and it just goes in like this. Okay. Just like that. And this is a 15 millimeter, 15 millimeter bolt.
so again I'm not gonna be changing this one um because they didn't have the right size so I'm gonna go on eBay and order a billet aluminum out of a GT500 um, same with the tensioner I'm gonna order the same tensioner uh, from a GT500 it's got a um, stronger spring so it's gonna keep the belt a lot tighter and that's pretty much it you can see how nice and smooth it spins so not bad all right so i went ahead and put on the belt and as you can see this is how it looks like so it no longer goes on top of this pulley now it goes underneath and the tensioner it's it works the same way as you can see you can loosen it everything's the same so let me go ahead and show you the pulleys that I've changed so far actually wait around I'll say four pounds three to four pounds